video is a video we look forward to filming every year. It might be our favorite video to film ever. We're big fall girlies. If you're not new here, you already know that, but if you are new here, my name is Emily. My name is Abby. And welcome to our channel. Welcome. We do all things lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and that is what this favorite video is going to entail. We're gonna have some miscellaneous things too, but mainly beauty, fashion, and um, fragrance. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to talk about you guys. We have been nitpicking these favorites for weeks and weeks so. We just wanted to make a list of the absolute best products that make you feel so cozy mm -hmm. and also make you smell cozy and We just feel like we do a good job of finding those products mm -hmm. for you guys. We're obviously very cozy here We have some very wine cozy. Because what is a fall favorites without some red wine? It's a tradition at this point. Yeah, we every have to keep it up. fall favorites we drink, we sip on a little bit of red wine, and we talk to you babes about fall favorites. Mm -hmm. And it's just so much fun. Before we get started, too, everything we are talking about will be linked in the description down below, so it's easy for you babes to shop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we just really do appreciate anyone who uses our links and yes, supports seriously. us that way. Yeah, they've been cutting our commission percentages, so help <laughs> us out with our shopping addiction, please. Yeah, I know. It's not. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't have to, but it really does mean a lot to us if you guys do go out of your way to use our links. We love you. Love you. So we're gonna start with beauty because that is the least amount of items that we have in that category, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. I love switching up my blush for every season. Every season has a different color mm -hmm. blush. So for fall and winter, I kind of just put those together. I love a, a darker maroony burgundy mm -hmm. deep color because in the summertime we love a good peachy coral, mm -hmm. but for fall and winter, I love like burgundy maroon, like warmer reddish blushes. The cream blush that I am obsessed with is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte um, All Over Face in Sunkissed. Um, my hands have wet fake tan on it, but I wanted to swatch it. Can I use your hand? Yeah. So I used it today as a cream blush, really as pretty. you can see. It's like a really pretty mauve -y, I love that. kind of reddish undertone cream blush. And, and I blend obsessed. really easily too. Yeah, they really do. Mm -hmm. And I just love the way this looks. And it's really buildable too. It's not like super, super pigmented to where you put it on and it's like hard to Whoa. blend. Yeah. yeah. So. I absolutely love this product. And then for powder blush, I did talk about this in the last fall favorites. I know it did. It could even be two years in a row, I'm not sure. <laughs> so this is a repeat for some of you babes who've been here over the years. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in At Night. And it is this really pretty deep plum shade with like gold champagne -y reflex. So it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but not a lot. And it's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I love this. It makes your cheeks look like you've been drinking like a little bit of wine and like, you know, the blood is a little bit rushing to your cheeks in a cute way. <laughs> not like uh, she needs water. Like it's like really cute. Like there's a candle burning and it's like casting a glow, Rosy. a glow on your face yeah. and you're drinking red wine. It's just like that. It gives that kind of look. And I sitting am by the fire. obsessed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. 10 out of 10, you guys, this blush is so beautiful and I will continue to use this every fall and winter, probably for the rest of my life. And Abby's the blush queen, so I promise oh, she knows her blushes. You should see her blush door. It's crazy. <laughs> I know I already did order a new blush, the Rare Beauty Cream Blush in Virtue, I think is what it's called. It's like a, anyways. <laughs> I'll let you guys know in the winter favorites if it passes the test. I'm sure it will because I love her beauty blushes. Yeah, those are really nice, but yeah. I'm not a big cream blush person in the fall and winter. Really? Yeah, it's an all year round thing. Okay, so next up is this eyeshadow palette and I was I so hesitant so to buy this, but my friend Lamia, she's also on YouTube. I can link her channel below. She told me that it's actually necessary because she also is a makeup <laughs> fanatic and I know that she wouldn't just say that to say she that. She probably has just as many neutral eyeshadow palettes mm -hmm. as we do. And so. I also watched some of Makeup by Cheryl's uh, tutorials and she used this and it looked like it blended out like a dream and it does. I haven't had this for long, but this palette is everything for the fall. It is just a dream. I mean, year round of course, but 
these colors it has a cool tone row and then a warm tone row and then two creams so there's a black cream and a dark brown like cream I, like I know i didn't take the plastic off of the mirror because i didn't want to blind you guys but literally how stunning i feel like mm -hmm. i need this as well i used it today of course and i used a little bit on abby too because hers was not looking yeah i was warm like enough. emily help i don't know what's wrong with my eyeshadow and she used this shade right here called crucial and it literally not that one the wait, one next to it this one this one. Oh, this one yeah it's she used crucial this one right here and it saved the day <laughs> and i was like i want to buy that palette now just for that color because yeah. if my eyeshadow is ever looking too boring i just throw that in the crease and mm -hmm. it fixes all your problems good ten job patrick ten. So 10 out of 10 patrick we mm -hmm. appreciate that we love um, you and then the last thing i want to talk about this is also for like a nice smoky dark makeup look which i love doing especially at night going on date night mm -hmm. and like you know drinking red wine going out for a steak dinner or something i love a good sexy smoky eye no i really i'm really <laughs> craving steak i know I we steak. need to do that double date soon so we actually got sent this in pr and i don't think i would have bought it otherwise so i'm really glad that they did the black one and this color which is very brown the formula of these eyeliner pencils is top tier they blend so good this is abby she hasn't used it and i'm like what are you doing you well i've been on. waiting to finish up my makeup by mario one, okay and then i was gonna switch to that one you guys see like how creamy this is hold on <laughs> oh you Ooh. see how creamy that is yeah i'm so excited so pigmented and when you blend it out like you kind of have to work fast with it but when you blend it out this is like a stain, so it won't just come off throughout the night. You're still gonna have this on at the end of the night, especially if you set it with a shadow. Yeah. I love using it on like the outer corner, like in the bottom of my lash line, and I'm just smudging it out and setting it with a brown, a dark brown shadow, and it will not budge. What I love doing with brown liners is putting it in the upper water line. Mm -hmm. That too. So it makes your lash line look fuller, mm -hmm. especially when I have Obviously, when I'm in need of a fill, I kind of am in need of one right now. It probably doesn't look like it because of my eyeshadow, but yeah, it really does, does not come off fill out the lash line. <laughs> yeah, so this is a 24-hour wear flake-proof. Um, I do believe that it is flake-proof 100%, but I don't know about 24 hours, but a good 12 hours. So, like, nothing is 24-hour, and I don't want it to be. So yeah, no. But it's fine. It's the most long-wearing, dark, creamy pencil that i've ever used eyeliner pencil so mm -hmm. okay moving on to fragrances our favorite yes this is like so exciting i Especially. love fall scents yes honestly i will try and wear them all year round i mean it's mm -hmm. kind of hard sometimes because i don't want to ruin a scent mm -hmm. by wearing it in the summer but my all-time favorite scents are warm cozy semi-masculine scents <sighs> I just love those kind of fragrances. You want to smell so. rich, warm, sexy, yeah. all the above. But we have a dupe for you guys. So we'll start with that one just because yeah. I'm almost out of it. And I don't wrong. think I'm going to repurchase it because the dupe is just as good. Does it last as long though? That is the only thing. This does last longer. Yeah. This has better projection. Mm -hmm. But this one still does last a long time. Like these perfumes, I think Zara has improved their uh, formula because it does have a lot better lasting power than it used to. Um, but there is no topping this projection lasting power. The YSL Libre, it is my favorite scent. And every time I wear this, mm -hmm. I get complimented. When we went to Abby's ring appointment, the guy from across the desk was like, what are you wearing? You smell it divine. And I was like, oh, thank you. I love that. When a gay guy compliments your perfume, you know it's good. That's so true. Okay? You know it's good. That's they so they don't lie. They, they keep it 100. When they give you a compliment, it is like, oh my God, I take that to heart. Best compliments. <laughs> um, I was going to compare the notes. I wonder. So okay. we found a, we think, an exact dupe. It is. To, it's an exact dupe. To YSL Libre, and that is Zara Golden Decade. I have the winter one here. Emily has both winter mm -hmm. and the plain one. I got the winter because this one is Red Temptation Winter, and this one smells really woodsy and like smoky. Smoky like a fireplace. Almost like yes. a Juliet has a gun dupe. Yes. The notes of this one is incense, golden amber, tonka bean, jasmine, and mandarin. Love this. And, and for I the love, price, you can't beat it. I love the packaging too. Mm -hmm. It's very just sleek. Okay, while you're pulling that one up, I'm just going to talk about one more Zara perfume because we're obsessed with Zara. Zara. They also have a smaller version of this online, which I want to order because this really blew me away. It's called Supreme Vanilla. This is a new one. I think the uh, Golden Decade Winter is also new. I had the 
regular version before I got the winter, but that one is new as well. This one is, or I'll read the description. It's a feminine and sophisticated fragrance in ink accord associated to a pink sugar note supplement, a captivating vanilla with notes of tonka beans and cedarwood. So yes, tonka bean, cedarwood, both notes I love in a fall fragrance and i love the packaging of this one too it's a darker bottle oh yeah and moody. yeah this one just smells so delicious it smells like a pure vanilla like an expensive pure vanilla i sprayed this all over my sweatshirt the other day and at the end of the day i still smelled it all over my sweatshirt so mm -hmm. The lasting power on your skin isn't as good as it is on your clothes but that's fine with me anyway the red temptation winter this this i feel like would be more so better for winter but mm -hmm. i i actually sprayed it on me today just because i was like i want to feel that cozy warm mm -hmm. like smell it just smells so good it's not for everyone i feel like some women it's would masculine be like, it's masculine like that is not for me mm -hmm. but i personally love it so if you like more of like unisex scents you'd love it um Let's see. Oh, so the notes are saffron, orange, praline, vanilla, leather, amber, musk, cedar, patchouli, and the intensity is medium. An, an aromatic, warm, and spicy fragrance with permanence and a long trail. So stand out. It is very unique. It has woody amber accord, sophisticated, opulent, and long lasting. Mm -hmm. um, definitely long lasting. I do smell this all day when I wear it. And like I said, like a little goes a long way. You really don't need a lot. Mm -hmm. You need like one squirt of this. You don't want to smell like too, so too strong. Mm -hmm. But I love it. I honestly want Jake to start wearing this in the winter with me. If you're going to get any, this one. Yes, Golden the Decade Winter. Golden Decade Winter. Need. You need, absolutely need. It's not even up for debate. Okay, so the last fragrance I want to talk about. This is a very inexpensive fragrance. So we're trying to save your coin. Um, well, we did with the Zara too. Yeah, those were also budget friendly. But this scent is so bomb. I went into Bath and Body Works the other day and they were doing a buy one, get one free on their body care. So I was like, I have to. First of all, I was drawn to the packaging, although it is a little tacky. It's called Midnight Spell. It's like, you know, very Halloween y. There's like spider webs here, and blonde. spiders and skulls and black roses, which, you know, it is kind of a vibe. It was definitely one of the better packagings out of all of their Halloween scents. I got the um, body cream. This has shea butter and hyaluronic acid in it, so it's very hydrating. And then I also got the shower gel, which we all know Bath & Body Works shower gels are not the best like lathering shower gels, but the way this smells, I didn't even care. I ordered loofahs because I'm just gonna- Yeah, they're great. I'm just this. gonna go to town in the shower with this scent because it smells so delicious. Fragrance notes, mystic air, moonlit woods, and crystal amber. It's very like sweet, but like, but also this lotion is so thick and hydrating. Like I love lathering myself in this kind of um, body creams. And you can't tell me. Like that does not smell so no, good. No, it smells really good. I really want to move on to candles mm -hmm. because I, Emily and I, especially me, have a huge mm -hmm. obsession with Woodwick candles. I light them every single night and Target. They're so cozy. They're so cozy and I've been on a reading kick too, which we're gonna get into, but there is nothing better than a Woodwick candle, a cozy, spooky book in the fall, a cozy blanket, a cozy blanket, yes. some red wine, Mm -hmm. and it's just like it's a vibe and it just makes me so happy and lately my son he's in kindergarten now so i have time to like read and time to just have alone time self care <laughs> so it's so nice but the three i have three woodwick candles but kind of they're the same two are the same so this one has been my number one favorite this is from target it's the threshold brand pumpkin woods it smells so good. It smells like pumpkin and cinnamon mm -hmm. and, and like baked goodies. Like mm -hmm. it smells like pumpkin bread mm -hmm. and like, yeah, oh, so good you guys. Like it's very pumpkin-y though. Very pumpkin-y, but what I love about Woodwood Candles is the, the sound and like how lit it makes a room with like no lights on. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this one's not super overpowering. I've been burning this every single night and I need to back up because I don't want to not have this, but it's <laughs> so cute because the packaging is like a ceramic pumpkin. Mm -hmm. They have multiple scents of this um, and it's only $15, I think, which is like a really good deal. And it just smells delicious. We have another 
packaging of it and this is a more sleek all year round packaging mm -hmm. and it has three this would, would be it's... such a good gift for like a man oh. or anyone really but like i feel like men would love this kind of candle my I boyfriend is obsessed with wood candles now too because really they're so cozy like watching a scary movie with a woodwick candle yeah yeah it's it sets the mood like mm -hmm. it really really does and i feel so cozy when i have one lit it's called pumpkin woods which is pretty much exactly what it smells like but i just want to see if it has a better description because those always you know the descriptions always make it more special scent it says pumpkin woodsy cinnamon and vanilla perfect why does that one smell a little different yeah I was like, wait, am I tripping? But I like this one better. I just got like a flashback of when I was smelling that candle that I sw switched the lid on in my art <laughs> full haul. And I was like, this doesn't smell like that. And everyone's like, yeah, because you switched the lid. So that description is for a different candle. I was crying. I know. That was, and I, I was can't like, believe I didn't catch that when I was editing too. So embarrassing. But I was just like, can you girls just like not point out? But I love that everyone was like laughing. They weren't like laughing yeah. at me. I think they were laughing with me. I hope. I don't know. I mean, neither of us caught it. So whatever. <laughs> Blonde um, moment. Blonde moment for sure. For sure. Um, and then the next one I need to talk about is the Woodwick brand, which is just like, okay. So the flames are actually different. This one's really like, which one's noisier? This one's noisier. Okay, <laughs> that's all I need to know. The Woodwick one is noisier, and this one's more like in and out. Like it's more of like a. <laughs> I I really wish I could help like guide you through this. <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna get a lighter. I think I just need to get a lighter. Okay, yes, you do that, Queen. <laughs> well, BRB. I'll be right back. This is the pump. Oh, I didn't even say what this is called. Pumpkin butter. So yummy. This one's more creamy. Mm, yeah. This one's so it's delicious. It's warmer. This one's more sweet. So. All right, light this one too. And then, Battle of the Woodwicks. Okay, so this one's really loud. And like, it's a more consistent flame. So you heard that one, very noisy. Here's this one. Nothing. No, it's very subtle. Yeah, so it's very, very, very faint. So this one's noisier. And see how that flame is like, I think it's because it's wider. If you actually want like the effect of the noise, like the crackling, then you need to get this brand. This yeah. one's on Amazon as well. I did okay. get it at Walmart, but it's on Amazon too for the same price. Mm -hmm. And it smells so good. So bomb. So anyways, I just highly recommend Woodwick candles for fall and winter. Mm -hmm. It's just such a vibe. It's Especially when it's raining outside. It's like dumping rain and then you have one of these going and then you have... That's the only ASMR I need in my life. Literally though. The only ASMR. Okay, we're gonna okay. move on to... Skincare. Skincare. We only have a couple things here. And they're by the same brand. The mm -hmm. Coast RX, which is all the rave right now. Mm -hmm. If you're on TikTok, you know. I have had this for only, I think about a week. Maybe a little less than a week. And I am obsessed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is a little bit like sticky at first, but then when you start blending it in, it Here, blends in. I'll show in. you guys. Like, do you see that? Look at that glow and hydration. Like, it's so Your good. Your skin looks like a donut. Like, it's a glazed donut. It's so glowy mm -hmm. and healthy looking. Yes. And so it like nice. actually does absorb really nice as well. So this is gonna be a fall and winter staple for me and you just can't beat the price and the way it makes your skin feel and look. So I'm here for it. I will look into the ingredients. Actually, they're all in like Korean. This is but, Korean, which I trust Korean skincare. But it's Amazon and we will link it down below. I literally am obsessed. And I, I'm gonna tell Jake, I'm gonna put Jake on because he's a big Tatcha fan and i'm like we can't be buying a hundred dollar moisture yeah no all the time. it's too much i've been using this for a while now as you can see i'm more than halfway done with this and abby knows it takes a lot for me to be committed to a skincare product because mm -hmm. i'm kind of lazy when it comes to skincare now I want unfortunately that. but this even my boyfriend loves this he calls it snail jizz <laughs> So, yeah, because it kind of, it's like very much like, oh, you know, yeah. but okay, so this has kind of the same thing when you blend it in, it's not so sticky. Yeah, it's not as sticky. It's kind of like a hyaluronic acid. I'm going this. Yeah, no, that is, this is amazing. It has healing properties and my boyfriend gets really like dry skin in his beard, like 
yeah, on the sideburns. And when he uses this, it's gone. And then when he stops using it, it comes back. So I genuinely believe in the power of this product. So it says being 96% snail secretion filtrate mucin, this essence helps the skin to lose less moist while, which moisture, while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. So I think it just locks in moisture is what mm -hmm. it's saying. You guys, this video is really long. So yeah. snack break, drink break, whatever. Cheers. Um, we're about to get into the fashion and we're also doing a completely separate Amazon fashion video. The first thing I want to talk about are these comfy, chunky socks that are literally so cozy. I have- These are thick. Yeah, they're really thick. And warm. So I have the nice black ones on right now. <laughs> Big feet. I have the black ones on it comes the one I got is a set of two cream and black and these are really perfect to wear if you have Uggs and they're just so cozy and cute so yeah I love are cute I love those they're a little shorter than um, the ones I, I feel like. like they're a perfect length though these are the ones that I have these are more slouchy and longer and they're a little thinner so I like wearing these with Uggs because as you guys know if you've had Uggs there's like fuzzy material inside of it so they're already warm mm -hmm. so i don't want my feet to be super sweaty when i wear them True. so that's why i like that these are a little thinner and these are super slouchy so this next piece is from white fox boutique which you guys know emily and i are diehard fans of white fox we love them and we love them well before we started working with them that's just a side note but this did get sent to me and this is probably one of my favorite items that i've received from white fox and one of my most worn pieces i didn't think i was a leather jacket girly until i got this because i never found one that fit right that didn't mm -hmm. look too bulky or it's not too structured it's more slouchy it, yeah it just fits so nicely it's literally perfect this is called i believe the seal the deal mm -hmm. um leather jacket and i got it in a small medium and it's the perfect amount oversized and it's just so nice to have a jacket that keeps you warm while looking stylish. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of like corset, bustier, sexy crop yeah. tops that you can't really wear like cardigans or sweaters with. Right. So a leather jacket just pairs so well with it. And I have worn this so many times. It mm -hmm. is worth every penny if you were to, I would buy it with my own money for sure. If I something were to happen with this, I would reorder it. And it's been sold out on their site for so, for long. so long since I got it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just restocked it. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. This is a fall staple. Yeah, you need a good leather jacket in your closet. And if you guys do order, you can use our discount code McKnightWF for 15% off. And it's just so worth it. Yeah, such a good quality leather jacket that I know is gonna last it's me. It's soft leather so too. Long. It's not yeah. like a hard. And it doesn't have that weird fishy smell when you get it either. Yeah, which and is it so has nice. A zipper so you could like roll up the sleeves if you want. The yeah. zipper doesn't completely come undone, which is also nice. It's yeah. just like a little space for you to roll it up if you want, and it looks yeah. nice. And it does also come with a belt that goes in these loops, but it tends to fall out. So I just I gave up on the belt, <laughs> but that does look cute too if you want to somehow deal with that all night but i just gave up on it but i am obsessed with that leather jacket and emily needs it's it it's an investment piece a staple piece yeah that everyone needs in their closet for a fall and winter so abby and i are obsessed with knee-high boots in the fall and winter these are definitely a more fancy going out shoe and they're a statement guys these are giving instagram baddie mm -hmm. abby said it was giving courtney barker it's her last name now yeah i'm obsessed with these are from amazon which i was very surprised sure. i was looking on so many different websites Me for these too. boots mm -hmm. i have a hard time with heels but those are so easy to walk in i tried them on mm -hmm. super cute but i think these are super cool and definitely a perfect fall staple to have you're gonna be that bitch when you step out in those okay so this next thing is a hoodie that i am so obsessed with i lord knows i don't need any more hoodies <laughs> but i ordered this because i saw a girl on tiktok talking about it and she said it was like an aritzia mm -hmm. dupe mm -hmm. so i was like i've never even tried aritzia but that's obviously the TNA Good. brand, I think they're yeah. really expensive. So so I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And I ordered, this is the first color I ordered was the gray. Um, and I get them in a size large, so they're super oversized and cozy. And I fell in love with this mm -hmm. hoodie, you guys. It is such good quality. It is my favorite hoodie. It's so comfy. It's fleece lined. Fleece lined and so cozy. And 
I now have three colors. I have this is coffee gray. This is I think heather gray or something. I have black and then I ordered beige and that should be coming in today actually. They're just simple, basic, easy to throw on and yeah, I literally am obsessed. The way that these feel, mm -hmm. <sighs> and they're under $40. I think they're about 33 um, and worth every single penny, if not more. I hope they don't raise the price, but you know, <laughs> I would still pay more because yeah. they are such good quality. I'm in love. They're so, really nice. I absolutely had to give those a mention. I'll probably shout them out again in our Amazon fall fashion video mm -hmm. just because they're that good but I so needed good. to mention them in this video. And then the last thing is kind of like an accessory. These are sunnies that I did show in our summer favorites, but now that I think about it, these are way more of a fall vibe and I am obsessed. I love I like those. big, dark, like blocking hater sunnies and these mm -hmm. are so good. These flatter my face so well. I do have kind of have a hard time finding sunnies that flatter my face, Yeah. but these are so good and I am truly obsessed. These are the Desi Six Feet, I believe is what they're called, um, sunglasses. And they mm -hmm. also, I also really need the gold. I did tell a little story time on our summer faves about that situation. I did order them, but they sent a box full of junk and yeah, I was kind of annoyed, so I put a bad taste in my mouth, but I'm willing to give them another chance. Mm -hmm. Um, and these sunnies are just perfect for like all black outfits, mm -hmm. big puffer coat. Well, did you see it? She posted something saying that they're coming in store. I think they're coming to Nordstrom. <gasps> oh my God. I would literally yeah. be so excited. So that'd be so nice. You can go try them on a person. Yeah. That would make a huge difference because returning is so annoying. Right. But I wear these all the time. Mm -hmm. So I... Again, had to give these a mention, you guys. I'm trying to put y'all on to the best. You can fall, put them back on. <laughs> fall bits. <laughs> and they're just so cool. Mm -hmm. So I love these sunnies. They could look cool with any outfit, casual yeah. or fancy. And I feel like they're kind of unisex as well. So again, kind of my vibe. I love to dress up my simple outfits with a lot of jewelry. Right now I'm wearing gold. I usually am wearing silver. Like that is my thing this fall is silver jewelry. But um I forgot my silver necklaces at home, so I did gold today. But this double cross necklace in silver has been my go-to. I'm obsessed with it. This is also from Amazon. This is from Amazon. My rings are also Amazon. There is a little cross ring, which this is why I got the pack. It comes in a big pack, but it has a cross on it. Oh, I need that. Yeah, so they're cute. very inexpensive and I love, this is all from the set. So it's very oh. inexpensive. I have it in silver and gold. I love wearing a lot of rings. It's like my thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it just makes you look so put together. But these earrings are also my current obsession. They're these big, chunky silver hoops. These are also from Amazon. I'm also wearing Amazon hoops. These are the Pavoy hoops that everyone loves. Mm -hmm. So good. You can't sleep on Amazon jewelry. That's, That's where so I always get it and I'm always so impressed. These look really expensive and heavy, but they're not at all. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about wine emily has an energy drink and like a couple books so the first thing being is this actual wine holder which is from target um emily and i both got this and mm -hmm. we are so obsessed it's so obsessed. cool it looks so good on a bar cart emily just has it on her countertop which still looks really cool but i'm like can you can you tell well maybe if you don't have the bottle of wine in it so yeah <laughs> If you're immature, oh, then my immature brain is immature really mind. something else, but um, you guys get the vibe. You get the vibe. But it looks so cool on a bar car, and I am obsessed. Um, and it's only $15 from Target. But look at this. I haven't tried this yet. Bottle I'm going to save this bottle for Halloween when I have people over. Um, well, who knows if it will make it till then. I might end up opening it before. <laughs> I'm dying. Did you read this? What? Frankenstein wasn't a monster. He was just upset people didn't want to hang out. So Aww. next time an eight foot tall guest arrives, pour him a glass. But you guys, this is so cool. It will be linked down below. It's mm -hmm. from Target. Only 15 bucks. Literally. It looks expensive. It, it looks does. expensive. I think it's super cool. And then I was just gonna mention Malbec in general. It's like my favorite red wine now. I prefer it over Cabernet and it's so good. I love this one too. This is a little bit, it's not like super cheap. It's about 20-ish dollars. Katina, I'm probably saying that wrong. Malbec, love a good 
full body Malbec. If you don't drink alcohol or if you just are a gym goer too, like me, I love this Witch's Brew Alani New Energy Drink. Abby and I both love this. It is very sweet and you will get sick of it by the end of the fall season. Yeah. So you can find them at Target and that's the only place Safeway. that consistently has them. Safeway has had them okay. too. But so just try it. Or GNC probably. Last but not least, some spooky books. I have not actually started this one, so I'm going to talk about this. This one is called You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. And I'm going to read you guys the description. We found this at Target and I made Emily buy it. <laughs> she literally did. Because I already bought this one. I was like, we can just, you buy this one, I bought this one. And we'll I'm trade. not going to read either probably. And she's not going to so. read either one. But honestly, I did really enjoy this book. I was kind of like creeping on TikTok about people's reviews and it's very mixed reviews some people think it's so cringe and like not worth the plot twist but i thoroughly enjoyed it because it's actually not that scary <laughs> what i wanted was like a spooky book that's gonna bring me all the fall like eerie vibes without being like Scared. not being able to fall asleep at night yeah. yeah i wanted to like i didn't want to lose sleep so this is perfect if you don't want to lose sleep but you just want like a spooky book to like bring you in so i'll read the description it says Grace Evans, an overworked New Yorker looking for a total escape from her busy life, books an Airbnb on a ranch in the middle of Wyoming. When she arrives at the idyllic getaway, she's pleased to find that the owner is a handsome man by the name of Calvin Wells, and he's eager to introduce her to his easygoing way of life. But there are things that Grace discovers that she's not too pleased about. A lack of cell phone service, a missing woman, and a feeling that something isn't right with the ranch. Despite her uneasiness, the two bond and start to fall for one another. However, as her departure date nears, things change for the worse. What began as a playful romance soon turns into a complicated web of lies. Grace grows weary of Calvin as his infatuation for her seems to have morphed into obsession. Calvin fears that Grace is hiding something from him, including her reason for staying at his ranch to begin with. Vacation flings typically end in heartbreak, but for Grace and Calvin, it'll be far more destructive. Mm -hmm. So, as soon as I read that description, I knew I wanted to read it, and it's super good. It's a little bit cringy, of course. There are some lines where I'm like, <laughs> that is so cringe, but I did really enjoy this read, and I highly recommend if you're looking for like a, just like an easy read. It's not that, book. yeah, it's not that big. It's quick, and Colleen Hoover reviewed it. She said, everything I want in a thriller, sexy, shocking, intense, with an ending I never saw coming. Mm -hmm. Geneva Rose is the queen of twists, so, yeah. The next one, I have not started this. This is my next read. I plan on starting this maybe even tonight. Um, another like easy, I could tell quick read, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, this is called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Um, Laura sent me this saying that she heard it was really good and we both bought it and we're gonna read it together. Do like oh, a little spooky book club. Yeah, so if you guys wanna do it with us, <laughs> go ahead and purchase this book. But I'll read you guys the, the description's not the right word, what is it? Summary? Casey Fletcher, a recently widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press, why does that sound kind of familiar? Has retreated, has retreated to the peace and quiet of her family's lake house in Vermont. Armed with a pair of binoculars and several bottles of bourbon, she passes the time watching Tom and Catherine Royce, the glamorous couple living in the house across the lake. They make for good viewing, a tech innovator, Tom is powerful, and a former model, Catherine is gorgeous. One day on the lake, Casey saves Catherine from drowning and the two strike up a budding friendship. But the more they get to know each other and the longer Casey watches, it becomes clear that Catherine and Tom's marriage isn't as perfect as it appears. When Catherine suddenly vanishes, Casey immediately suspects Tom of foul play. What she doesn't realize is that there's more to the story than meets the eye, and that shocking secrets can lurk beneath the most placid of, surfans, of surfaces. Mm. So, sounds pretty juicy. Ooh, it does sound juicy. There's and some tea in there. Love yeah, that. a little bit of tea. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to read this. Hopefully it's not too scary, because I just yeah. can't. Verity was like a good one too. It's a good read, but um, it did kind of scare me. Yeah, I remember <laughs> you texting me about me like this book is fucked up. Like you get jump scares. I'm like, I'm not watching a horror film. Like, can you please not? So if you like don't get scared easily, Verity's a good one, but I'm a, I get scared so easily. Yeah. I lose sleep so easily. Mm -hmm. So this one did not keep me up. And then I'm hoping this one doesn't keep me up. Um, but I will 
let you guys know maybe on instagram story so i'm more of like a yeah. show person like igor and i've been watching american horror story which i'm obsessed with so obsessed with and we have watched like two seasons during this last weekend two seasons in one weekend so like do we tiktok live it's only five o'clock so maybe we should tiktok live. Well, like tiktok live for like just for minutes. 30 minutes We'll okay, see. well, regardless, we hope you babes enjoyed this video and you found some new goodies that you want to buy. Like Abby said in the beginning, everything will be linked in the description for you guys to shop. And yeah, we love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy this fall favorites. I know you guys love our fall content and we love filming these videos. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. So, so maybe fun. we were a little too excited and talking over each other a lot. I know we do that. Yeah, so I'm sorry. sorry if that was a thing. We try to catch ourselves, but it just happens. Like it we're, happens. We're both just so excited and eager to talk about these products. We have um, a lot of thoughts. We've been conjuring up this list for a long time. So <laughs> anyway, we love you babe so much and we'll see you very soon in our next one. XOXO, XO, 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 XO